Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm working on hard dish boulders. Um, I find it really important to work on hard boulders because you're working on moves that you've never really tried before. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're just going to be in the red zone a lot of the time if you try hard boulders and that will just help you progress more as a climber and become stronger. And so I really enjoy working on hard boulders. And so in this session, I am working on new, but also some old boulders that I already tried just to see how I feel, how it goes. And yeah. So if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It will mean a lot and let's get into it. Let's warm up. My warm up for now is just like climbing in easy boulders. I do usually do a full warm up, like body warm up and everything, but not training, you know? I do it in comps. I don't feel like doing it for training, even though I should, but I don't. So I'm just gonna warm up for climbing. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of warm. We can kind of say it's end of warm up, and I'm pumped. That red. So that is the end of my warm up. I just climb until my body feels warm, my fingers feel warm, and then I head on to harder boulders, but not too small holds, and that seem doable without giving that like pulling too hard. So that's what I'm going to do now. Going to try this orange one with a little dynamic move at the beginning. Um, I should try to flash it because this is kind of comp style boulder. Let's see if I can at least flash the first move. Nope. <laughs> so much for my flash <laughs> Focus. Look. <laughs> this kind of stuff frustrates me. <laughs> <laughs> Something I know I can flash and I don't. <laughs> Att attempt number 693,642 oh, Attempt number 600 <laughs>
So moves like these is something that I'm working on a lot, dynamic movements. I usually manage to do them, but like after 10 attempts, for example, what I just did here, and I should be able to get those first attempt or second attempt. So I'm trying to work on just like doing those quickly instead of making the top on my 10th attempt, like I did here. So next powder. Working on hard boulders is a really fun exercise to do just to like get those hard movements that you may not be used to trying. Step out of your comfort zone, go to one, two grades above what you usually try and just like choose four or five boulders that you feel like you could do or find that you find interesting and just try every single move. The important thing to do is to rest well in between attempts and you can take 15 to 30 minutes working on a boulder and then just pass on to the next one and I really enjoy this session because it really just like shows me how, what my body can do and if training is paying off and if I feel good and yeah work move by move like you don't need to always start at the beginning of the boulder if you're working on hard boulders the really idea is to just like climb up to the part that you want to work on on easier holds and then just try them out That's what i'm going to do now today is a very good climbing day I don't feel as good as I have been feeling but that's okay <laughs> even though it does piss me off big time and I do get frustrated hopefully with some good night's sleep I will be feeling good next week
going to try the last move one more time and then I'll head on to the next border. Last move does feel doable, but it is quite far and I mean, I've had enough of working on the last move. So that purple boulder was, is a boulder that was already in the gym that I've tried before and I just wanted to try it again to see how I felt. And this is the last boulder I'm going to be working on. It's a new boulder that I haven't tried before. So let's see how it goes. So I'm just gonna try the end part where I fell off from and if I make the end part I'm just gonna stop there because there's no point in continuing if I'm this part. Well, that last boulder sucked, but it's fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop here because I just get pumped straight away. So there's no point of continuing. I don't know why. Sometimes I have like a really good session where I try tons of boulders, work on hard boulders and I don't get pumped at all. And then sometimes I just like get extremely pumped after like warm up, I, I was already feeling pumped and yeah. Probably linked to sleep. I didn't sleep a lot last night and I do see a correlation between low sleep and pump the next day, but it's something I need to test more, but I enjoy sleep. So I'm not going to test not sleep, sleeping less, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the end of my session. Tu dis que t'es pété? <laughs> so you know how I said the red boulder was my last boulder? Well, I felt like trying one more boulder because it was new and I flashed it. <laughs> but now the session is done. See you in a week. <laughs>